We are back with more of my southern home and I'm here with Daniel Woods with the Addison Group and Cliff Jones with Landscape Solutions. And Daniel and Cliff, I love how you guys brought us to three completely different outdoor living areas. And Daniel, this is a great example of a family that needed lots of space to entertain and for teenagers that were always bringing their friends over. That's right. So they've got kids of, of multiple ages, uh, all kind of in that middle school to high school age. And so, and they're very active. So, you know, soccer, softball, baseball. And so they needed space to kind of be able to do those activities and enjoy some the space. So um, this was a great space for them. Uh, so they kind of set it up to where they've got a usable pool and lawn area, but then they've got sort of this upper terrace lawn where they can do bigger game related activities, things like that. And Cliff, being able to tinker was the word that the homeowner used in the yard was very important to him. So you have lots of different spaces for him to do that. That's right, yeah. The homeowner loves to be on the yard, likes to maintain his own plant material. He's got some garden spaces that he likes to harvest his own vegetables and grow his own vegetables. So, you know, try to give him some places that he can get out and relax and enjoy the space as well and not just hang out in the pool with the kids. And Daniel, so what were the main goals for you when you started designing the space for the family? Because it, it has that Tennessee slope to it, this backyard. Yeah, it, and that's a challenge on a lot of properties in, in this part of the country. But um, so really the idea was to kind of make this as functional as possible, given that it's got a, a, a pretty good sized slope from front to back. Um, we had to limit the number of steps into the house for sure. That was an important thing. So making sure that the motor court was uh, at the right grade. Um, but bigger picture was making sure that the space was functional for when they're going to be entertaining for just them or when they're entertaining for larger groups. So you know, they may have kids' birthday parties or other things where they've got you know, a team softball party. And so where can they do that? And how do we make those spaces look good when it's just the two of them or the five of them? And at the same time, when there might be 50 people. So. So that was kind of one of their goals. Um, it's, it's that, how do you make that space look visually good and attractive when it's quote unquote empty and when it's full of people as well, so. Well, you've done a good job with that. And Cliff, with your company, you guys come in and you create these beautiful functional spaces. And one of the things that I love about this particular outdoor living area is it's very distinct places. Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, he's got an awesome outdoor grilling area for the adults. They've got a raised up garage you can come in and out from the weather. They've got a hot tub and spa as well. They've got a sun ledge. They've got a fire pit. So pretty much anything in your backyard you can have, they've got it. Daniel, the last house that you brought us to, low maintenance was very important to them. And they have that beautiful putting green, no grass at all. The first house that we went to was similar to this, but it was a smaller footprint. So no matter what your goals are with your outdoor living area, if you're working with professionals like yourself that have vision, you can create that for them. Yeah, and so and it's fun to have different types of clients, right? And, and so this particular client, they like to get out in the yard and they like to, to actually work within that space. Um, so giving them a balance of areas where they can tinker uh, and whether it be in the, the great herb gardens that we put together or whether it be uh, changing out perennials, things like that, all while still being able to kind of keep a balance of evergreens so that the yard looks great throughout all four seasons. Um, so that was a challenge um, and it's a big space too, right? So, um, so you have to kind of balance between kind of overdoing it and at the same time giving him enough to kind of let him enjoy in the space and explore it. So Cliff, what are some of the trends that you're seeing right now in outdoor living that a lot of clients are gravitating to? So definitely want a, a space I can go to like a fire pit or a fireplace, a grilling station, outdoor bar. Um, some people of course want a pool like you have here. Some people don't want a pool, but definitely that fire feature is probably the number one thing that we're installing these days. So with the fire features, they can be grand and you can have a lot of mason work with them, or it could be a small little fire pit like we had at the last home. That's right, we can do elaborate as you want or simple as you like. I mean, a lot of call it the, the lady friendly fire pits. You can turn on with a light switch, which is great. So you can come out there with your girlfriends and a glass of wine or your favorite beverage and just turn on the light switch and the fire pit lights right up. Super simple, no maintenance, easy for everybody to operate. So Daniel, for the homeowners out there that have a space that they've been wanting to transform, 
what are some of the things that they should think about in advance of contacting a professional like yourself? I mean, the first thing we always say is give us your grand picture. Give us your, your full end game of what you want this space to be. We never want a client to feel like they've got to stay within limitations of just what they think they'll use the space for over the next year, two years. Uh, a lot of times there's a bigger vision. So what we're able to do is kind of help, help them see out that full vision to what might be the ultimate goal. And that may require some phasing. That might uh, require a couple extra parts and pieces before they get to that final. But we kind of help them set that roadmap. So that's the first thing we do is give us, give us what your dream scenario would be and we'll help you get there. And Cliff, there's a lot of different companies out there that do what you guys do together to create these spaces. What are some of the things that homeowners need to be aware of when they're interviewing companies like yourself? That's a great question. So I always tell people, you know, do they have good communication? You always want to ask if they're licensed or insured. And if they are licensed and insured, have they worked on a project of this scale? And do they have references that you can check from other projects they built similar to your project that you want at your own home? Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. We'll be back with more My Southern Home in just a moment.